A second line of severe storms swept through the area tonight. Strong winds down trees and power lines in the Grant Park area that's in southeast Atlanta, even setting one fire, one tree ablaze. Some areas, they even saw hail. This video you're looking at is from Fayette County. There was also hail all the way east to Lawrenceville, even Athens, where they saw golf ball size hail. Meteorologist Samantha Moore has been busy all night tracking those storms, but she's not done, folks. Sam, you've got your eye on another storm tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we'll likely see more in the way of these storms. We have cold air above us and, of course, warm air at the surface, and that makes for a very unstable atmosphere. Looking out at Centrust, it looks like the folks are back in there now, but uh, Jason Aldean performing there tonight. They had to evacuate because of strong thunderstorms moving through the area, and we still have the potential yet tonight. We have our severe thunderstorm watch. It's in place until 2 a.m. Once again, we're going to be up late watching these storms roll on in. So let's take a look at where the rain is right now. You can see where the heaviest of the activity has pushed off over towards Loganville, stretching along 316 into Athens, where they did see that uh, golf ball size hail earlier. And we still have some more activity moving in here to Carrollton on the west side. So it's not over yet. And look at all the development back into Alabama as well. And that's where our second line came from today. And we have new storms popping up here in Gainesville. We have those same ones moving in towards Athens and look at all the activity. If you happen to be heading up 85 towards South Carolina, just tremendous uh, lightning from the storms there right now. So these have all been moving very quickly off to the east. They've been producing a lot of wind. We've had winds up to 60 miles per hour down trees, causing some problems on power lines. And we're looking at that threat yet as we head into the evening hours of severe. The Storm Prediction Center giving us that two out of five chance to see severe storms yet tonight primarily big hail makers as well as lightning producers and big time rain. So coming up, we'll time it out for the rest of your weekend, Ryan. All right, sounds good, Sam. Thank you. Let's take a look at that first round of storms we had today. Heavy rains, gusty winds. You see lightning right there. Small hail, all enough to wake up many people across Metro Atlanta. 11 Alive meteorologists tell us there was a lightning strike nearly every second. Homes were hit by lightning in at least two counties, Cherokee and Gwinnett, and it was in Gwinnett where there was a very close call for one family. Their house caught fire after being struck by lightning. Christy Etheridge got a tour of the damage from the inside. If you look right here, you can see where it started. Debris is everywhere. The carpet is waterlogged, and now there are two holes in Ian McKenzie's house, one created by lightning, the other created by firefighters to stop the flames the lightning caused. McKenzie remembers the exact moment it hit. I just remember a loud, like literally, we were dead asleep and then just woke up. It was like something crashed into the house. He got up, checked things out, and saw nothing out of place. So we were like, okay, just a bad storm passing through. Um, went back to bed. I probably dozed off for like 10 minutes. Then I woke up and I was like, no, there is something on fire, even though we couldn't see it. He was right. Flames had started in the attic after lightning struck his roof right here. So he called 911 to get help and got out of the house. Collapse of thunder like that woke up people all over the metro and into North Georgia and kept emergency crews busy long before the sun came up. Firefighters were being rung out to calls like trees down, wires down, uh, alarm calls activated. We had two house fires, this being one of them. Downed power lines closed a road in Gwinnett and several houses are bearing the weight of trees that toppled over in the heat of the storm in Dawson County. As the threat of severe weather continues throughout the weekend, Captain Tommy Rutledge with Gwinnett Fire says his men are ready for whatever Mother Nature throws our way. In spite of being busy, uh, they're ready for the next round. Christy Etheridge, 11 Alive News. We have a